Welcome to Gwangali Beach, Busan, South Korea. <laughs> yes, indeed, we made it to South Korea. So, second day, yeah, the weather is phenomenal. And this is behind me, it's just a gorgeous Gwangali Beach. Blue skies, but it's not too hot, so really nice weather. Beautiful spot. We'll probably do a few day trips and outings from here over the next couple of weeks, so stay, stay, uh, stay watching for those. Today is the 11th of May though, so it's a special day. Tomorrow is Buddha's birthday, so we're actually on the hunt for some celebrations for Buddha's birthday. So we're going to hop on a bus here and head uh, to one of the, the citizen squares it's called, and maybe one of the temples if we have time and go check it out. Ready to go? Yep. After the bus oh, ride of hell, <laughs> we now are slightly deeper into the city of Busan. Busan. And this is the Busan Citizens Park. It's really and beautiful. It's not quite early, it's like quarter to five. So. Not much going on except for I guess the families and the kids, but we're going to take a peek around and if there's not much here, we'll move on and find another spot, find Buddha's birthday, because that's why we're here. Check it out here in Busan, Citizens Park, Citizens Square. Well, we're going to look around a little bit further and then maybe you venture back across the road. There's a little local street we're going to check out. We're not giving up on Buddha's birthday yet. Okay, not sure where we are. It's like an underground city of sorts. Um, we use a little app called Neva to find our way around. Uh, give us explicit instructions and then it just goes downstairs into a... There's a whole another world down here. It's very interesting a whole underground There's uh, under all the main streets you find these uh, underground malls which actually runs the length of the streets and I guess they connect sort of the metro station to each other. And it's quite enlightening to be honest. But anyway, we're still on the hunt for Buddha's uh, birthday. Find our way to a... Temple? No, no. The food street, yes, so we're gonna check that out. Anyway, look at this place. I think we're a little bit closer to finding Buddha's birthday celebrations. There's lanterns and pretty stuff. There's like a big thing behind us and in front of us is lots of little lanterns. And if this doesn't work out, we might have to go find the temple to get serious. Let's see what we find here. Yeah. Let's walk Ooh, down the alley of lanterns in the meantime. Anyway, it's, it looks quite, really it's quite bustling here in this part of Busan at the moment. Anyway, it's Saturday night. But uh, this side looks busy. Check this out. Ooh. This is more like it. Does this look a little bit more tasty? Yes. Oh, if we didn't find the yeah. birthday, we found Buddha. Uh -oh. Well, that's good. Oh, good. Anyway, let's go look at... Oh, wow. Oh, there's lots of good stuff, yeah. Is decorated with these big figurines, but still don't get the feeling. We're gonna have to go find a temple. All right. Okay, boys and girls. That was uh, crazy. That was the bus ride out of hell. We have 
taken to get to Buddha's birthday. And it didn't hold on to anything, it just being squished by people, like a human jelly. Human jelly. Yeah, that was a full bus. A tiny little bus with 700 people in it. It was insane. And the traffic is backed up because everybody's doing the video. Uh, we tried to find the, the Buddha birthday situation. All right. We found a... This is it. We found some Buddha birthday celebrations. There are quite a few people here. Oh, it's crowded, uh, it's beautiful. This is called the Sangha. San, 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 San Temple. And this decoration here is part of the festivities for Buddha's birthday. And it's sort of in the two, three weeks leading up to it. And this specific <laughs> temple is known for the elaborate decoration with paper lanterns. And we're just making our way up to this to the main temple to go see what they've done inside. Incredible. Look at this. So beautiful. Mm. Pretty cool, eh? Definitely. Almost worth uh, enjoying a bus ride from hell. So there's a dragon that breathes fire. See if I can get a no, this would have been cool at the uh, African bird. So you can get a shot of the dragon. Dragon? Oh my lordy. This is just too incredible. Yeah, yeah, look, they're not. Um, wow, it's really Specifically, come and check out this temple. Um, and it's like this apparently the whole week and two, or two weeks leading up to Buddha's birthday. Yep, every so night. It's quite a nice window to very come nice. and have a look and enjoy this and experience it. So this is probably goodbye for us, good night for us. We're gonna figure a way out to get back to our, our, our house, uh, which might involve a couple of buses and lots of walking. But so this is good night and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Give us a like and hopefully yep. subscribe. Yeah, we'll see some more of our. In yeah, we'll we'll definitely do a few more interesting excursions in Busan. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Good night.